Hey guys, welcome back. RC here. Uh, I didn't get to sim ahead very far. I went one sim and there was an actual trade that I wanted to pop up and look at. I uh, thought you guys might want to see. St. Louis continues to make some moves over in the National League. Uh, and the name that jumped out here, I think we talked about him in one of the early episodes, was Mark the Bird Fidrich, uh, who had that one great year and then got hurt and was just never the same and, and shortened his career immensely. Uh, but uh, St. Louis sends Reggie Smith to the Tigers. They get Vern Rule, Mark Fidrich, John Valley, Mel Jackson, and Bob Adams. So uh, Fidrich, certainly a player in there. Vern Rule, John Valley are players that uh, had pretty good careers. Uh, Expos and Astros. Nothing major. Willie McCovey. Now, he's 37, but, I mean, Willie, Willie McCovey's one of those uh, great, you know, great historical players going back to the to the 60s. I uh, believe he had uh, 521 career homers, 1,555 RBIs. Certainly nothing uh, wrong with that. Uh, most of his career was San Francisco. Uh, actually left for a little while and then came back. Uh, played all the way up into 1980, but started in 59. Uh, definitely one of the great players of that era. Um, multiple All-Star, Rookie of the Year, MVP. Um, so he got dealt... Uh, so he'll be going to the White Sox in Division Two. Wow. So those guys are loading up for a run, and we barely beat them last year. Uh, and they trade off uh, a lot of uh, young talent to get him. Rob Ellis, Bombo Rivera, Jim Bibby. So Jim Bibby gets moved. Go ahead and uh, sim up a little bit. Bill Hand retires at the age of 35. Finished his career with Texas. Actually, oh, well, you know what? That's, that's too funny because he evidently did not play last year, and that was his final season. J.R. Richards, six foot seven. I didn't realize Candy was six foot seven. Uh, yeah, I knew he was a little tall, but I didn't remember him being that tall. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that's that's a funny story. Uh, I'll leave that right there just for a second if you guys want to pause it and read the story. That's one of the really cool things that Marcus, uh, the, the developer, does is they put real stories in here. Uh, you'll, you'll get real quotes at the top on loading screens. Uh, so some of this is actually pretty funny uh, or, or really cool. So you pause the video, read that if you want, and then uh, play it again, and I'll still be here talking. So we're at the Hall of Fame. I'm not going to vote in the Hall of Fame. Let's go ahead and get up to the draft. Ron Say the Penguin, Catfish Hunter, in some ads. Okay, here's our first year player. Uh, 75, 75. That's this year. Okay, well, here's an updated list of, uh, oh, wow. So there's Leon Durham still, Wade Boggs, Ricky Henderson, Danny Darwin, Pasquale Perez, Alan Trammell. 
lot of a lot of good talent there. Uh, Atlanta, Houston, Milwaukee, San Diego, and St. Louis with the first five picks. So they made a big move picking up some real talent this year, and they're going to get a top five pick. Ouch. All right, first year player draft. I've got uh, advanced draftee signings off, so we aren't going to have the current st structure uh, with uh, signing bonuses and whatnot. It's just going to be um, straight ahead, you know, draft them and they're your player. We'll be picking at number 16. Hopefully there is uh, some talent left there, but we shall see. All right, why don't we go ahead and auto-draft, and then we'll go back and see what has happened. All right, so we have the draft log. All right, so Wade Boggs goes number one to Atlanta. Ricky Henderson to Houston at number two. Was he only 16 when he signed? That can't be right. December 25th. So he'll be 17 right after the draft and heading into his minor league season. He started in single A in 1976. Huh. And then made the jump to Oakland in 79. First full year was 80. And uh, his first full year stole 100 bases, 100, 130, and 108. Uh, 1,657 stolen bases. The man was not a slouch on the base pass, let me tell you. <laughs> At all, by any stretch. All right, so let's go back here. Alan Trammell, Leon Durham, Billy Sample, Ken Phelps, Pasquale Perez, Dave Smith, Dickie Thon, Steve Kemp, Danny Darwin, Pat Tabler, Gary Rozich, John Tudor. Uh, John Tudor, I remember, he was with uh, St. Louis. Yep, at the end of his career. And he, is this the same guy I'm thinking about? Walks. 88, 89. No, not the same guy I was thinking of. Uh, there was one guy with St. Louis that uh, literally, if he walked somebody in 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 a se in the season, it was a big deal. Uh, but Tudor was a pretty good pitcher, from what I remember. And Mike Scott, Mike Scott had a pretty short career, from what I recall, with the Astros. Yeah, 35. He he won a Cy Young, uh, 20 and 10 with a 3.10. It was either that, I think it was 86. He went 18 and 10 with a 222. I think that was the year he won the uh, Cy Young. Um, you know, just a steady guy for a, a couple of years, you know. Uh, granted, he played till 35, but, you know, it was only a 10 year, nine year career basically since he started playing regularly. All right, so we are up. Who are we going to get? We're going to continue the draft, and we are up. Um, scouting director recommendation tells us to take Jay Howell, a starting pitcher out of high school. Now, Jay was a Yankee and an A and a Dodger. I remember him with the Dodgers, I think, in the 90s. Not horrible ratings. Three pitches, good stamina, but let's come up and take a look at who else they have. Actually, I don't want that. I want all players. David Palmer. Palmer. David Palmer. Oh, hello. 
there's a name that jumps out at me, Jack Morris. Three pitches, 90 miles an hour, neutral, played for Montreal. He's possible. Of course, I'm going to have to look at Jack. Pretty good ratings. Three really good pick, three above average pitches, and then a off speed pitch. He threw a no hitter, won a World Series. Uh, Detroit, Toronto. I think I'm going to pick him. Let's see. Right at 90, neutral. Good stamina. I like the four pitches. I didn't see a batter that really jumped out at me. And it's mostly pitchers up this high. Tack Wilson. Rick Honeycutt. Dan Petrie. I believe he played for the uh, Tigers too. Tony Pena. He was a good catcher. Uh, Red Sox, I believe. Mike Sosha. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and draft Jack. I think he's high enough up, but got the name recognition as well. Um... Yeah, he's going to need some development time, but I think uh, I think that's who I want. So we're going to draft him with our first round pick. Uh, let's see. We're going to auto draft the current round. Then we're going to go to the draft log. And there we are. So Jay Howell went right after. Ron Davis, David Palmer, another guy I looked at, Bruce Hurst. All right. So what do you guys think? I'll be interested to see what you think of my draft pick there, my first round pick. Let's take a look in the second round. Tack Wilson, Bob Brindley, Ken Landro, Mike Sosha, Tony Pena, doggone it, Petrie. So those were a couple of guys that I was that I had right there that I was looking at, but that's okay. Mark Lee, a relief pitcher. Rick Honeycutt. Another possible starting pitcher. Fly ball pitcher, so he'll need uh not as much defense behind him. Steve Trout. A lot of pitchers, huh? A lot of pitchers. Let's look at uh, batting potential. See who some power guys are. Ozzy Virgil. He can play right field. Joe Charbonneau. Cleveland. I mean, he had uh, 23 homers, 87 RBIs, a 289 average, and he was just never the same after that, was he? I mean, he he hung on and was just bounced around for just a couple more years. You know, this is the kind of guy that I I like to get that didn't have a good career or you know, but maybe showed some promise. I mean, 352 in my, in the minors with 21 homers and then he kind of followed that up in the majors you know with a full season so it's not like he, he you know it's not like he couldn't do it and I don't know what happened to him um, you know that would I'll have to that would be interesting to look up I'm gonna take a flyer on him let me take Joe Charbonneau 
Well, you know, I might be able to get him in a later round, though. Steve Trout. Can't ever have enough pitching. Average to above average. Three pitches. Good stamina. Extreme fly ball pitcher. So he's up in the zone. You know what? I'm going to take Trout. Let me see who my scout says. Ozzie Virgil. He's a catcher with some power Philadelphia Atlanta Wow I don't remember I, I don't remember him his name's not ringing a bell didn't hit very well yeah I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Steve Trout I don't think you could have enough uh, enough players enough pitchers uh, let's finish the second round we'll take a look at that real quick so Virgil went right after me Jody Davis Mike Bishop Mark Lee another guy I looked at all right so third round just checking for any names that really jump out. Rudy Law. Joe Charbonneau. Huh, the Boston Red Sox took him. That's too bad. You know what? I am going to... I'm going to add him to my short list. Just because I'm curious to see how he plays out. That's too bad. I was hoping he would slide to me at, th at, at this pick. That's all right. That's all right. Um, let's see. I want to go back to default potential. Second, third, short. He could be a utility type player. Spray hitter. No power. Philadelphia. Really was just a cup of coffee player most years. Yeah, he never had a full season. Well... 90. Yeah, I mean, he was coming off the bench. I mean, he wasn't in the minors in 88, 85, 86. Looks like 200 at bats was the most he ever got. And he still wasn't hitting badly even at the end of his career, but he was done at 32 and back down. Actually, he was done at 29 and then was back in the minors. Huh. Second. Decent glove. Not great, but a decent glove. Mike Howard. Now Mike Howard's another one of those really good utility guys. Won't have much power, but can hit, hit to the gap, and maybe take a walk. You know what? Let's take him. That would be a good little player to have in the system. We'll auto-pick until my next pick here. All right, so that was round three. Mike Howard, so let's see, Reed Nichols, 
Dennis Littlejohn, Chuck Porter, George Frazier, Extreme Fly Ball Pitcher, High 80s. Another guy that might be at a couple of positions. 16 years old, another one, wow. Four. Two below average pitches. We're kind of late in the draft where you're not going to get anybody really good, I don't think. Four pitches, good stamina. Hmm. I never understood that, why you have some outfield ratings. I'm going to take him, just a, a flyer. And I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and auto-draft the rest of the, of the way. Uh, so you guys or I have to sit there. It's only like an eight round, oh, 38 rounds. Holy smokes. No, no, no. Nine. How many rounds did we go? 19. Yeah, I wasn't gonna sit through 29 or 30 rounds. All right, let's see. Designated waivers DL nothing. All right, there's Jack. Says he's already ready for double A, already ready for triple A. And possibly already ready for the bigs, but you know what? I don't think so. In fact, I don't want to start him that high. I'm going to bring him I'm going to keep him in single A. I like him to prove themselves at each level. You know, if he goes 4-0 with a 0 ERA, of course, I'll move him up. Um, Mark Littell's probably going to get called up this year. Let's see, where are we at on time? Oh, do I... Do I have to sign these guys? No game scheduled. Ooh, looks like our money figured itself out. We're projected to make 1.3 million this year right now. So you know what, I could raise this to let's do that so we're still well below but that's still 1.2 million dollars now th that means we have to win we have to be in contention um, let's see I don't see any notifications. I think I turned that off. Yeah, there's nobody I really... Cookie Rojas. Wasn't he on my team last year? Yeah. Yes, he was. And I traded him, didn't I? I was. He was released. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I waived him and he would not uh, go down to the minors. So, yeah, I got, got nothing for you there, pal. Harmon Killebrew, I believe we let him go too. Released. Thank you very much. A lot of older guys down there.
Jim Fragosi. First and third. With Texas. How am I looking at depth there? Gates. Hortensia. Mallory. Trade proposal. All right, let's see. Texas and Detroit. Chicago and New York. Cubs and the Yankees. All right, trade proposal from Oakland. How has it expired? It came in today. Hello. Hello. Why? That's weird. I get that every once in a while. I've always gotten that in, in periodic versions. Oh, Ron say his, uh, his commercial got pulled off the air. Nice. Uh... Max Leon for Steve Dillard. Sanders. Reggie Sanders burned badly in a kitchen accident. Five days to a week. All right. Hall of Fame voting results. Bruce Keeson cut himself with a pair of scissors. All right, let's see. No player was elected to the Hall this year. Wow. Don Drysdale, how did he not get in? Eddie Matthews. Duke Snyder. Robin Roberts. Red Schoendice. Got dropped. If I remember correctly, he actually got in on the veterans ballot once they uh, implemented that. Bob Turley, Joe Nuxall. God, look at the names. Gil Hodges, Ralph Terry, Roger Maris. Johnny Padres. All right, well, so half the ballot got dropped. Really looks like out of all these guys, only Drysdale's going to have a shot. 209 wins, 166 losses, 2.95 ERA. Led the league in starts four straight years. Could you imagine a pitcher starting, starting 40 games or more uh, in a season today? Uh, it would never happen. 25 and 9. Yeah, Drysdale, man. He was a big right hander. Wow. Eddie Matthews. 513 homers, 1,450 RBIs, 271 average, 376 on base percent. He, uh, if you're not familiar with him, played for the Milwaukee Braves and then Atlanta one year uh, after they moved. But he hit uh, he hit right behind Hank Aaron in the lineup. And I did not know he was from Texarkana. I did, just learned that. 17-year career, multiple-time All-Star. Um, probably not Hall of Fame worthy, but uh, certainly a very, very good career. All right, let's see. Personal message. 
so the budget goes up nine hundred thousand dollars nice which will help that immensely um, I'm gonna add another 50 to that just to make sure that we're developing our minor leagues I wonder if that had anything hey you didn't give us any money so we won't play any any uh, games all right let's see so if we go up to April here what about there's still no all right um I tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in the video here because that's aggravating and I'm gonna have to see if I can generate a schedule and I'm gonna pop over and see if anybody's ever answered my forum post at the same time and uh, we'll see to, if we can get this rectified because yeah if we're gonna have another season where we don't have any minor league games then I may end up having to scrap this and restarting it, which is going to chat me a little bit. But uh, we will see. I will check it out. We'll see what's going on. And uh, I will get back to you guys in the next episode and let you know what's happening. So thanks for checking this out. I uh, apologize for this issue. Uh, not my fault, I don't think. But uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.